Hey y'all, thank you so much for tuning in. So today is March 10th, 2024. I got I need y'all to remember that date. This is such a such a special special day. Guess why? I got baptized today. Woohoo! Yes. I've done it before. Like I did it when I was really 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 young um with my auntie Chris and my cousin Candace. Um, and I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> so here I am now, 44 years old and very aware, fully aware of God and his love and the love that he has for me and the work that he has for me to do. And it was not something that was on my mind, if I should be totally honest. Um, it's just that we are doing a discipleship class at my church and yeah i was reading through the discipleship book and one of the questions at the end of the the chapter said um ask have you been water baptized since you repented of your sins mm -hmm. and i stopped for a moment and i paused and i was like hmm and i thought about it and i was like i can't remember um i can't remember have being baptized like as an adult um i like i said i did it when i was a child but I had not done it like as an adult and I, and I thought about it and I was like, since I repented, have I been water baptized? And I was like, I have not. So it just so happens that I think that was February 28th when I read that that morning and just so happened we had a baptism upcoming on March 10th, which is today. So um, I immediately text my pastors that morning and I was like, hey, um, I want to be baptized again. What do I need to do? And here I am one of not one of the best decision that I could ever make and um you all know the song hell lost another one I am free I am free I am free hell lost another one I am free I am free I am free that's how I feel I literally feel free not only free like free like yes i know that i am um saved I, I i was already saved but free in the sense of i feel like there are chains off of me i feel like there are um things that were keeping me um quiet keeping me um just not fully expressing my thoughts and not fully expressing my ideas and just overthinking things and just wondering and I literally feel free like um my pastor prayed over me today like during he prayed over a bunch of us were like <laughs> today was today was an interesting service you had to be there but um yeah so that's one of the things that I've dealt with like from so much from a young girl people would always say oh she's quiet or she's shy or she and I kind of took those things on but um, I remember a couple of years ago it was at a Denim and Diamonds um, event and we had to like give an adjective that begins with the same, the first letter of our name. And I remember my mom wrote Tenacious Tamaya <laughs> on my, um, on my name tag. She wrote Tenacious Tamaya. So, um, yeah, I, um, not only that, that, that is stuck with me and, my one of my spiritual moms miss quinn she <laughs> she gave me a word back in i don't know 2020 2021 just about the work that god has for me and about my voice being heard and at the time when she said it, i was like what I, I just couldn't think i couldn't fathom like what on earth it could be or what I had to say or like who I was going to talk to or any of that. And I still don't have all the pieces, but I do know that um, it is a new season. It is a new beginning. It is, um, it's a new place for me. And I know that 2024 is, um, it's a different year. It's a different year, but it really is just the beginning, the beginning of what he has in store like I literally feel like I'm on a cloud right now like I just feel so good I feel so free I feel so I feel happy I feel full of joy right now so yeah if you haven't 
made that decision to um to give your life to Christ or if you have not made that decision to be baptized it's time it's time it is time and it's time and it's time but I just wanted to come on and just share with you all I could not let the day pass I'm sorry it's night and you all see my shadows behind me because I got lights on but it's nighttime it's dark out here but I had to like come on and just share with you all because I feel so full of joy right now and um yeah I just had to share with you all it wasn't only me it was eight of us y'all it was eight of us that were baptized today at the beach it was so refreshing it was so beautiful it was so nice the water was cold but my little cousin put a <laughs> just put a song in that in our family chat the, the song that says um stepped in the water the water was cold it chilled my body but not my soul shout out to you mario <laughs> yes the water was cold but it was still such a beautiful beautiful experience even young ones the youngest one was um 18 the youngest one was 18 years old and um yeah she got baptized from young to old from young to old um it's just been it's just been a a wonderful weekend today was baptism um friday night we had tabitha time it was a time where we just got together with the ladies and we just worshiped we ate some good food we talked we were just refreshed. We were just renewed. We were just encouraged. We were just uplifted. Shout out to you, Pastor Michelle, <laughs> for that event. That was so special. And we left there like, we left there so encouraged. We left there so, so full. One of our, one of my sisters in my, in our, um, our hosting team was saying that she felt physically exhausted when she got there, but when she left, she felt better like she was in a better place when she left and um we were having a little conversation and, and one of them one of our other sisters said he will he will restore he will refresh and i said i said not he will he already did it you read what she said she said she left feeling better than when she came so he already has done the work ha! and i said that's just like my god that's what he does when you feel one way but you put forth the effort and you go and you worship and you serve and you just be in his presence hey you leave that feeling brand new because that's what he does but i'm gonna let y'all go because i'm gonna keep talking and talking and talking and talking and talking but i just had to come on and share with y'all i got baptized today again i think the first time i did i might have been six years old maybe six or seven i can't remember i was like young very young but it was in we did it in georgia i remember it was um it was like out in the country like i remember we had to drive down like a dirt road to get to this church it was this big white like concrete pool outside the church like it was in the country y'all but i remember it i remember it but um yeah like i said i didn't know then but hmm, now i am fully aware i am fully fully aware hmm of his goodness of his love of his power of his might <laughs> all that he is and how much he loves us and how much he cares for us how much he loves you and how much he cares for you <laughs> no matter what you may be thinking he loves you and he is concerned about you and he's waiting he's waiting patiently for you to come and give your life to him <laughs> your life would never be the same not saying it's gonna be all good and great and everything is gonna go smoothly once you give your life to him life wouldn't be life if that was the case you're still gonna have some situations but you will experience those situations differently knowing that you can depend on him <laughs> and that you can lay your burdens and the weight you can give him all of it you can give it all to him and like dr fred price say he he, he said i had he said he hadn't had a, a down day and i think it was 18 years he said now that doesn't mean i didn't have an opportunity to have a bad day but he made a choice he made a choice that whatever situation came 
he said, um, I'm trying to think of the term. He said it was what it, oh, he said he learned passe vous, passe vous, which means pass on by. Hey, so yeah, it doesn't mean your life is going to be perfect or going to be perfectly easy once you give it to him. But when you have this word, when you have this word, guess what? It don't matter what come. It don't matter what life does. It don't, hey. You have the power, you have the power, you have the word in you to tell that situation. Pass on by. Going on by. Because <laughs> that word, that word, that word is what strengthens you. Is what gives you hope. Is what lets you know that, yeah, I can rest in him. Because in him... <laughs> I have my joy in him. I have my peace, but I'm going to go again for the second time because I'm going to keep talking, y'all. I'm full right now. I am full to the brim, okay? I'm going to keep talking, but I'm going to go. Thank y'all for tuning in. I just wanted to share my experience with you all. I was baptized today, y'all, and it was great. The best decision I've made, ever made, ever, ever made. Love y'all, and you're going to be hearing from me again soon, all right? Thanks for tuning in to Maya's Minute. Love you.